Hey y'all, it's your girl Britt and I'm back with another video. If you are new to the party, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys are returning, thank you for coming back. I truly appreciate y'all. It's been 20 days. You mad real, you mad faithful, and I bang with you. So thank you, okay? If you're the new person, it's okay because I still bang with you too. But... I want to get right into this video. Yes, it is Vlogmas Day number 20, which means it's five days until Christmas, which means it's one day until I get to go home. Home, 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 home. Not home, but home, home, home. Okay? I'm so excited. But I'm still packing. I'm still getting my life together so that I can catch this flight at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So I thought, why not, you know, give up some of my tips and tricks when purchasing flights, getting ready for my flights, and then being at the airport, being on the plane until I touch home. But these are my five top tips and tricks when I am traveling. So I just wanna start by saying, not everything works for everyone, but this is what works for me. So if you don't know, if you are new to the party, I currently live in California but I am from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Um, I went to school in Philadelphia, so just traveling, and especially a long flight, um, you know, five plus hours, I think is long. Some people can go longer, but not your girl. But it can be physically draining, and it also can be very financially draining as well. It can add up so, 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 so fast. So it is important to know different tips and tricks so that way you're not completely draining yourself. First tip would be when searching for flights, you need to have a plan, but more importantly, you need to be searching incognito mode, okay? When I say that, I mean like go under the radar, like under. When you're not in incognito and you're searching for flights, airlines can track what you're searching and they'll increase the prices of that trip because they know that you need to fly out at that time so if you're tracking it like and it's getting closer to the day and you realize that it's getting more expensive you're like what is going on it's most likely them just messing with y'all trying to get all your money so go incognito mode because you legit go under the radar and they can track you to a certain extent but it's not that much so i've done it before one time, I, no lie y'all, but I had a flight that was $100 cheaper legit on incognito mode than on a regular browser. So I do it every time. I recommend that you try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But for me, it works every time. So boom, that's that on that. Uh, Tip number two is finding and just researching those different websites, different apps that can help you find different uh, prices or at least the best price for that flight. I know, so for me, I always go through Google Flights incognito mode because, you know, that's just my go-to, honestly. I find really great prices there, but I've been talking to friends and a lot of people have been suggesting skip lag. I compared them to Google Flights and I found cheaper flights on skip lag. So your girl might be using skip lag in incognito mode. As far as apps, uh, just off the top of my head, two that I use are Skyscanner and Hopper. These are two apps where they will track the flight that you need. They'll look at all the airlines, find the best prices, and it'll tell you daily. It'll send you notifications about what the prices are looking like, if it went up from yesterday, if it went down from yesterday. So it does all the work for you, um, but I suggest that you still do your own research just so that you can find the best price. Number three is once you start flying, you're purchasing these flights, if you are a frequent flyer, like you said 2020, we about to be out, like we travel in the globe, what's up? Start just traveling with one airline if you can. Try to be consistent, that way you can then sign up to be a frequent flyer and you can build up those miles and then you can start traveling for free. My boss got mad freaking flyer miles because he flies with the same airline every time. And I'm like, you're on to something, sir. And many other people probably are. And I didn't know about this. I'm in between like two different airlines. So 
I'm like, okay, and I never sign up for frequent flyers. Like, this past trip that I went home in October, I got an email, it was like, claim your miles now. I just kept looking at that email, like, what are you talking about, claim my miles? Those was 12,000 frequent flyer miles that I could have claimed. I'm tripping, I'm pissed that I didn't do it. So, yo, get your frequent flyer miles. I'm not playing with you, okay? Tip number four. This goes into, like, baggage and just packing your bags beforehand you know getting the most room that you can to fit all your stuff and then bringing it in so one thing that was suggested to me uh that i didn't do in my packing video was to roll my clothes up so shout out to my cousin for just throwing this tip out for me if you roll your clothes it gives you a lot more room to work with as far as the weight is going to weigh however much but as far as room if you need more room you got a lot more things that you want to pack roll your clothes and with your shoes if you're packing them in put some of your small things into your shoes like ladies underwear uh body suits like small thin things guys boxers white teeth just stick them into your shoes because it saves you a lot of space another thing this involves when you get to the airport when checking your bags check it as fragile my bag y'all i'm gonna pull it in can y'all see it I don't know if y'all can see this, but the airlines be jacking my bags up. Now, this is cute luggage, okay? I ain't want just a black bag that I can't identify. Somebody take my clothes home. I got time for that. I want a luggage that is pretty. So when I walk through, people are like, oh, look at that luggage. And I'm like, yes, look at my luggage. Um, but they tearing my luggage up. And I'm about sick of them. So, when this go around, when I go home, I am telling them that Things are fragile within my bag. Can you put the fragile sticker on there? Apparently, they pull your stuff first, and they also handle it with care. Because everybody knows that the people be like, just throw it. Oh, I bet. Stop throwing my stuff. But, yeah. Mark it as fragile. See what they do. Hopefully, your luggage will come out nice. If your luggage is brand new, mark that joint as fragile as soon as you can. My last tip has to deal with food and beverages. You can't bring liquids into the airport, but you are allowed to bring a reusable water bottle. So just bring in your empty water bottle. You can fill up at a water fountain or you can have them on the plane fill you up. That way, during your flight, you can become dehydrated. The air is just so dry up there. It's recycled air. People be sick. Keep yourself hydrated with your own water bottle. You don't got to keep hitting the help button like me for them to get you some water. So that's a good tip. As far as food... They say you can't bring drinks in, but you can bring a whole meal in. I brought whole meals into the airport and been <laughs> chopping away. Like, in and out I had one time. Um, what else did I have? I don't know at the moment, but I brought in, like, full-on food. So, you can definitely do that. I advise you to do that because the little snacks that they give you on these six-hour flights, it's like, what am I going to do with this? I'm hungry, sir. I don't want your cookies. I don't want your pretzels. I want food. So you can bring a full on meal onto the plane. So that's my top five tips and tricks that I use that help me when I'm traveling. So hopefully, you know, this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, not everything works for everybody, but some of these tips, if you can use them, definitely do it. Save yourself a couple of dollars. Um, if you have any tips and tricks that you use when traveling your, when planning your trips, definitely throw them my way. I would appreciate it. But that's all I got for y'all today. So with that being said, let's roll out.